children, it's your emo daddy, Sean. And Riley. That's right, we're in an emo core band called Spirits, and we do reacts, and we're back, and we got a gentleman that's been on our page, our channel, I should say, plenty. Including we got, a cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, we actually did a cover of his Bloody Valentine. We did. So, uh, Machine Gun Kelly just put out some new music. The song is called Paper Cuts. I'm excited. I think it's going to be probably, I heard it was going to be more rap. What do you think? I have not heard anything about it. I've intentionally stayed away from it. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't listened to it or anything like that. But from what I understand, his fans were saying that he said something about maybe going a little bit more back to that rap. But uh, either way, I'm excited kind to of check like it out. Melding it with the pop punk, or just going away from? They the were pop saying going things. away from, just like kind of going back to his hip hop. Stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have no clue. Uh, either way, we're very excited to check it out. If you want to check out our music, we got a five-song EP out called Novellas. Novellas. You can stream it on all the major steamy streaming platforms, or you can pick up physical copies you in can. the description of the video. There's a link to our merch store. It really does help us out a lot. We've worked really hard on this EP. In fact, all the music that you hear while we're talking is actually from that EP. Yep. Uh, so it really does help us out. You can also pick up merch. We've got shirts. We've got uh, sweatshirts, beanies, all sorts of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Make sure you hit subscribe and tap that bell. Ding, ding. That way you know when we upload the freshness. Boom. And a quick shout out to our sponsors. Ghost Killer Entertainment. And Solar Let's do this. Let's do it. Paper cuts. Paper cuts hurt. Oh, fuck yeah, they do. Acoustic guitar. Yeah. Bleach my hair, mess it up. Oh, this take doesn't my sound life, like rap. Dress it up, sign the deal. I got paper cuts. They wanted them, but they got us. I like how mellow it starts out. Yeah, I do too. I was just about to say it's a cool feel to start out on. It's got like a Green Day feel to it right there. Yeah. I like how the acoustic's still going. Totally. They're gonna bleed. I like it. Yeah, I like when Toms take over for the symbols for a second. It's Same. a cool, cool accent. I like this a lot. That's different. Everybody's so nice lately. Everybody's not nice. You know what it reminds me of? Where is my head? That 90s song. Where is or where is my mind? Yeah, the Pixies, Where's My Mind, that's what it reminds me of. That 90s vibe to it. Got some furries already. I like that he went with this weird ass, like just, you know, humming chorus. I actually yeah. really like that. Yeah, that was cool. Super different. I am going to say that the notes and structures are identical to that song now that I'm thinking about it. I got paper cuts. They wanted down, but they got That has to be a call to that right there. You like the double time? Yeah, I gave it a cool feel to it. Yeah, definitely. Those whammy pedals are sick. Yeah. I like how they end with a little bit of drums and feedback and yeah, noise. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> the end. That's our cue, baby. Directed by Cole Bennett. I like how that video was shot. It was really weird right. how they were playing with like the sizing and everything. Totally, totally. I like that a lot. Um, I'm curious what that symbol on the top of his head was supposed to represent. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd assume that'll come up at some point in the future. For sure. Yeah, it's maybe like a new branding or something like that. Yeah, I thought it was cool. Um, I like that that was very different from his other pop punk stuff. Definitely not sure where where people are getting at with the rap. Um, well, I, I really feel like it wasn't rap and it wasn't pop punk at all. It was more like 90s style grunge. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I really enjoyed. I am very, very curious to to know if that's a callback to that song by the Pixies. Cause, Probably. Uh, even that, that lead line towards the end uh, in the original song goes, like in the end of it. Oh, so, okay. And that was right at the end of that. So uh, if that was a clever callback, I, I would really assume enjoyed it's that. intentional. Yeah, yeah. I liked that a lot. I didn't... It's so different than Tickets to My Downfall, and that was kind of my, my only gripe about Tickets to My Downfall. Other than the song links, a lot of the songs sounded pretty similar. Yeah. Uh, this sounded entirely different, so I'm excited to see which direction it's in. Yeah, I was happy about that too, because on Tickets to My Downfall, you had like some real standout songs, um, you know, but then a lot of it was kind of, it wasn't filler. Right. But there was a noticeable difference between like, you know, the concert for Aliens right. and Bloody Valentine and some of the other songs on the album. Yeah. For me. Um, so I'm happy he's not kind of just right it's my downfall 2.0. Right, this exactly. Is very different, but in the same vein. I like that a lot. Well, and what I really like is this song stands alone by itself really well. You know, um, yeah. the tickets to my downfall, I actually finally got to watching the high school, uh, the actual the full length, whatever the, the video was. Yeah, and... Um, it put together, and everyone was right that was telling us to watch it in unison or in uh, chronological order, uh, because the songs actually did fit really well together. But I felt that those songs relied on that. I felt like that if if you don't listen to it, if you listen to it mixed up like we did, you know, we had a couple songs that were later in the album that we did first. Um, that's when it started getting a little repetitive. So I think that's that makes sense. So yeah. it's kind of mirroring the feel exactly. of the scene it's in. Yeah, and, and I recommend that you watch this actually. Really cool. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Uh, that was cool though. I, I like that. Um, I'm interested to see what he does next. I'm glad he's sticking with this because I think yeah. he's good at it and I think he's getting better at it. Oh, totally. You know, so it, it'd be nice if he stuck with this style for a couple albums and then we really got to hear once he's fully comfortable mm -hmm. what he can do with it because I feel like there is like kind of a warming up period totally for him yeah and I, I think while well, Tickets to My Downfall is a great album I think the next one that he does in this style will be considerably better and more original yeah it's going to be more refined I think and, yeah um, I think he's probably going to pay attention to some of the things that he might have done on Tickets to My Downfall that maybe you know as musicians we all have things that we wish we would have done differently yeah. so I think that he's a smart guy and I think, I think he's going to learn from that um, I'm glad that the song is longer than two minutes long yes uh, you know we got 310 out of that one so I'm, I'm satisfied thank you MGK yeah. I appreciate that agreed um, and I really like the fact like you brought up the uh, them bringing the acoustic in there and leaving that in there for some parts of the song it really rounded it out for me yeah it was cool I liked it yeah uh, if you want to check out our music again, we have a five-song EP out called Novellas. Yep. You can stream it. Stream it all over the place, baby. Otherwise, pick up physical copies. If you don't like how it sounds, it can double as a coaster. Yep. Uh, and it helps us out. We've started playing shows again, so it really helps us get out on the road and come see you guys and meet you guys. Uh, tell them a little bit about Twitch. Yeah, so we are on Twitch now. It's at Spirits Band. And... Um you know, it's just a place where we go. We do Sunday live streams where we get to some live reacts. If you play in a band or got a buddy's band or a mom's band, mm -hmm. um, you know, you can pop in there and we'll check that out and do some live reacts. For non-moms. For non-moms. Um, and then, you know, we do individual streams during the week, too, where we'll, you know, stream some gaming mm -hmm. or conversations or behind the scenes, you know, music production type right. stuff. Uh, so it's just a, a cool place where we can all hang out and chill and talk to each other. Hell yeah. Uh, if you want to join a cool little fan group that one of our Spirits fam created, shout out Willow. Hey. Head on over to the Spirit World. Uh, it's just a great place. We share music, all sorts of things. Um, we have a good time. Lift each other up. Yep. Make sure you answer the questions, otherwise you don't get accepted into the group. Yep. Sorry. Bye, Felicia. Nope. Am I forgetting anything? Make sure you hit subscribe and... Tap that bell. Tap it, baby. Mm -hmm. And as always, 
Please welcome, welcome to the Spirit World.